California poppies are popping through, as you can see. And they're all the way down also, on both sides. Still pretty bare but it will be beautiful and full soon. Can't wait to see how my front yard will look in another two months. We'll keep coming back and see what we have. And as you can see, we have some other plants popping up besides the California poppies. I don't know what they are, they're too little for me to tell, but I did plant carrots and radishes and lettuce in here too. So we will see what we have soon popping up. And as you can see, my backyard needs a lot of work also. All the leaves all about the yard. We need to start getting busy and getting some seeds planted out here also. A lot of work needs to be done. But you can see all my leaves have fallen or are going to be falling in the next month or so. You can see nothing but leaves scattered across the ground. And even that can be beautiful with all the yellows, greens, and oranges. It's winter time in Grandma's garden. Everything needs some major cleanup out here, as you can see. The garden bench waiting for Grandma to set down on it lots of things to clean out. I'm not even quite sure what I have here. But whatever it is, it is a beautiful plant. You know, Grandma throws out seeds all the time. And whatever this one is, is quite large. I don't know what it is for sure, sort of looks like, sort of like the carrots, but it seems a little too big. And I don't know if it's a queen lace, might even be too big for that. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. It is beautiful, but you know, Grandma, all plants are beautiful to me. I need to get in here and do a major clean out. But this is something new, not new. I have seen it growing, but I haven't been out here to see what it was. I've been pretty sick for this last month, and you can tell that I haven't been out in my garden. If anyone knows what this plant is, leave me a comment. Is it a carrot? Is it a queen lace? Is it a queen anne lace? Is that what it's called? I don't know. It's beautiful. Of course, Grandma takes beauty. Look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Love how it looks. But it's very large if it's a carrot, I can tell you. And these seed heads are gorgeous. Look how big they are. And look how thick and lush they are. Yep. Grandma always loves a good garden video. Even her own garden. Let me know. I'm going to get out here and start cleaning maybe another week or two. I don't want to get out here too soon and get sick again. I really need to take it easy. But I'm always amazed at what I find. When you grow things from seeds, you never know what's going to pop up. You never know what you're going to see. And it's winter time in Grandma's garden. But this 
a beautiful, lush plant. Came from somewhere, don't know where. It's in a container, as you can see. And I had some plants growing in here, but I don't remember a plant looking like this that I planted. But like I keep saying, when you grow from seeds, you never know what you're going to get. And of course, you never know what the fairies may bring home or the birds. Hope you enjoyed this garden tour this week. We'll come back and check this one out pretty soon again. Now they don't have such vibrant white flowers because you have it over here. But this one hasn't quite done anything yet. But it's been very cold out in the garden, so maybe that's why. But you know, Grandma always loves her garden. We'll be able to come out and see how these look in another week or two. And they're closer and easier for me to get to. But like I said, this is a very large plant. And I'm standing on top of the little hill to get a good picture of it up. But I always love my garden in every stage of it. It always looks beautiful. There's always something poking through beautifully. Here's something popping through all the leaves in all the bright colors. Isn't this plant beautiful? This is one of the last plants that my grandson Michael bought me before he passed away. Isn't it beautiful? It'll look prettier once I uncover all the leaves from it. Here's something else that popped up recently, and it came from seeds. Don't know if I threw it out or if the fairies or the birds brought it. But always love seeing something new and different in the garden. Definitely got to get out here and throw some seeds and clean this area out. This is another raised bed that I've just left alone. But we'll have it looking beautiful soon. I just need to get out here and clean it. Thank you so much, my dear friends, for stopping by for this week's garden tour and seeing what we have to share. And all of these leaves are from this one, one tree. Can you believe it? In the summer, it's so dense with leaves that you don't get any sun in this area. That's why it's hard to grow anything in here. And the winter leaves are so piled up on the ground. But it looks beautiful. So I don't want to complain. I find beauty in everything out there in the garden. But we'll get it looking beautiful again. A little time and love, all it needs. <laughs>